Hello guys, hope you're all well. In today's video, I'm gonna to go to Luton to try like a really popular takeaway. Before that, I'm gonna eat some food. I'm in my hometown now in uh, Buckinghamshire. Then actually we're gonna to go to Leeds to show you a really, really good Japanese place. So it's gonna be like a cross country video today. But before all that good stuff, mother, mother dearest, has made me a prata and then uh, some andamaji. This is like a little childhood thing that I used to love. All the places that I go to, all the places that I enjoy, the takeaways, the restaurants, they're all great. You know, a lot of them are great, I should say, right? But the best ones, right? Even the best ones don't compare to the nostalgia and the feel that you get from your mother's cooking. Because especially the ingredient there, my friends, is love. Food is made of love. It tastes so much better. Honestly, guys, you really cannot be home cooking. So this is, uh, I asked mom to make me a small one because frate can be quite heavy. And uh, we're gonna go to Luton and have some like, I think like a popular takeaway and I'm gonna try and get a few different menu items. So I'm gonna end up eating a lot. So you know how it is, I don't wanna get too full, but I can't come home and not have like a, a lovely little breakfast. In addition, the place I'm gonna show you tonight is kind of like a buffet style, but it's Japanese food with a twist. Lots of hot food, lots of cold food. They've got lots of like uh, spicy options. You see what I mean when I, when I get there? It's kind of different for a Japanese place. Love it, one of my favorite places. That tastes like memories and nostalgia to me. This is gonna go down well. I always get a little bit sad when I leave home actually, but uh, not gonna have fun today. One of the best breakfasts, without doubt, without doubt. And mother makes the eggs, right? So spicy, I love them. I love them, got a bit of protein, bit of spice, good amount of salt, just how I like it. We're gonna munch this down, chill, and then make our way to Luton. Okay, that's pretty much me done at home. I've been coming home a lot more lately. I've enjoyed it. I'm gonna try and do some vlogs in my hometown. Um, I don't really do a lot, but uh, we're gonna jump in the car now and say, well, I'm gonna say goodbye to my parents first, and then uh, I'm gonna jump in the car. But I think before my long journey, we're gonna grab a monster. It feels like a green monster kind of day. The whole thing is only 14 calories, not bad. I just saw uh, Prime in there. You know the drink that's kind of making everyone go crazy for 9 dollars That's actually, believe it or not, the cheapest I've seen it in like a corner shop. I did a review for Prime with uh, Hungry House and with Mr. Munchbox like six months ago. Um, yeah, so check that out if you want to see what the hype is. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. On our way there now, I think this place is called Tasties. I think it's a couple of Tasties come up. There's like a Tasties Perry. It's like Tasties Chinese and Perry, which is a unique, unique combination. And then there's Tasties uh, Chicken. So I'm going to go to Tasties Chicken. I think that's the OG. I think it's in town. So parking might be a little bit of a of a kerfuffle, but uh, that's the most British word I've ever said in my life, kerfuffle. But uh, I'm going to find parking and we'll check it out. But you know what I'm really looking forward to is the Japanese place tonight. There's nothing like it. Oh man, I cannot wait to show off to you guys. I found some parking, which I think is right by Tasty's actually. But it's like this, um, I don't know, like, <laughs> it looks like a construction site. There's no lines anywhere. So technically I've parked perfectly because there are no lines for me to miss. Okay, so we're gonna basically get the food. And I think bring it back to the car. According to Google Maps, I'm 0.1 miles away. So I think I did pretty well with the parking situation. There's actually a good amount of places to cover here. So you've got Burger Base, you've got Jaiwala, uh, Frank's, which I did a review for, and then the place I'm going to is down here. I'm gonna try and grow my Luton um, playlist. This, sorry, this jacket is annoying me. I can't get it right. Do you know what it is, guys? I can't like reach back in the right way. It's too tight, it's too tight. But um, anyway, back to the food. I'm gonna try and grow my Luton playlist. And it's not too tight because I'm too big. I think this is a large. It just fits really weird. Guys, <laughs> I thought I came all this way just for it to be closed, but then I looked uh, to my right and it's, uh, it's actually open. Mini heart attack right there, mini heart attack. Anyway, let's make our way inside. Guys, okay, so I thought I'd get some peri chicken and also the fried chicken. I feel like chicken and chips is like a loot and thing, right? So I thought I'll try that. Uh, the chap at the counter said I should get the fried chicken as well. So I've made sure to get that. All right, let's take this back to the car then. My gosh, it is. It's so cold today, it is so cold. <sighs> but I only feel comfortable reviewing if I've just got a t-shirt on. If I've got like a jacket or like a jacket, the shirt jacket things, I just don't feel comfortable. But uh, let me show you what I got. <laughs> just realized I have no cutlery. We'll sort something out. So 
big old portion of chips. So I basically got um, some chips with a quarter piece of chicken. They gave you the option, leg or breast. I chose breast, which I think is nice. A lot of places don't give you the option. And then I got one piece of chicken and chips and then the famous curry sauce. The portion of chips with the uh, piece of chicken is actually quite substantial. I just, oh, do you drop that chili? I just tipped it out because uh, I wanted to show you the chicken. I have to admit, liking the look of that. Shout out to one of my sisters, Salmon, who actually got me these like travel... Uh, cutlery set which is really really cool so you basically put it together yourself so it's like this and boom i now have a fork this was such a good present i leave it in my car just in case stuff like this happens i do think they should give you cutlery maybe it was on the side and i missed it that happens too but i asked the chap what i should get he said get the fried chicken for sure i got perry as well as the fry uh, he said that a couple of places I've been to in Luton, I've asked what I should get, and owners basically say oh, everything's nice. It's always hard when they say that because I want to celebrate your food, man. I want to do the best job I can. I want to boost it if I can. So I don't want to get filler menu items. He said, however, he was good. He told me what I should get. He said, get the fried chicken. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try the actual uh, Perry chicken first because, guys, this looks so good. This looks so good. I want to try this first. I've got a knife and fork, but I just feel like using my hands. Why not? Let's do that, you know. This looks always oh, hot. It's fresh. I love having the option between uh, leg or breast. Loads of places don't do that. That's delicious. It's charring on that skin. It's chicken breast. It managed to keep it super moist. Super, super moist. A lot of juiciness going on in that chicken. The flavour, which I got hot. They have a medium, mild, hot, extra hot, and lemon and herb. Has managed to like sink into the actual chicken. Into the very fibres of the chicken. Which gives it a lovely flavour. Even if you don't have the skin like myself. I don't really like the skin too much, generally. When the cameras are switched off, guys, I'm going to show you this. No mercy. No mercy. I'm going to devour this. But, you know, let's move on to the chicken and the famous chilli sauce. Because literally everyone said, make sure you get the chilli sauce. It's one of those things. Everyone said, make sure you try. If you can have a good look at it there, guys. I don't want to spill it, you see. Hold on. Can I Can I move that? Oh, here we go. Here we go. There's the chilli sauce. It looks good. It looks good. I do like that it doesn't look generic. I can see all the little bits of maybe coriander, the herbs, the spices. You can kind of see them swimming in there. I think that's pretty cool. As I drop my cutlery, let's try it then. Ooh, that's unique. It's not just chili. The sweetness, the herbiness, the spice to that. That might be one of the best chili sauces I think I've ever had. That might actually be one of the best chili sauces I've ever had. Guys, I've dropped. That is absolutely unbelievable. That's delicious. He said, how many tubs do you want? He gave me, I said, just one will be enough. I should have got more. Took it home. Put it into some bottles and have it on top of my chips whenever I fancy it. That is getting a hey. Man, that is delicious. And the Perry chicken, guys, is very close to a hey man too. Extremely close. I'd give that like a eight and a half out of ten. Super great. This so far... Guys, considering he said get the chicken chips, the fried chicken chips, I got the grilled. I am loving it. I'm loving the sauce. I'm going to try the fried chicken now. I think I've lost one of the pieces of cutlery. It's stuck in my chair down there, so I'm going to have to like move the chair and get it. I'm out of breath because I tried, but I'm going to eat first. So we're going to try the uh, chicken now. And after this, guys, just to remind you, I'm going to go up north. I'm going to go to Leeds. I'm going to show you one of the best places to eat probably my favorite restaurant in leeds maybe it's up there as one of my best restaurants in the north all of the north i'm excited to show it to you but we're gonna try one of the this wing for nailed it nailed it that is lovely as well this place is such a good little place to eat guys oh so i was just helping someone out i think someone's um blocked this guy in which is annoying which means they've blocked me in why would you park your car in front of like the exit of a of a car park of, of a car park? Why would you do that? Like, I don't know why. I just I don't know why you do that. It's so stupid. So I can't wait to try and get out later. That'd be fun. Here's chicken, yeah. I think for most people, I think it might have a touch. Uh, it's quite salty, I would say. But for me, that's perfect. I love salt. I love big bold flavors. I love the crispiness of the skin, which I don't even like skin normally. The chicken is moist. No, right, guys, I have to drop it. It's coming. That is getting a. <laughs> Man, this chicken is lovely. I would travel here. I would drive from my hometown to have this. That's what I would do. This is absolutely delicious. Do you know what? Get everything that I had, get it. Get the fried chicken, get the grilled chicken, get the chips and get the chili sauce. Next level. This is lovely. I love uncovering like little gems. I didn't know this existed. This is delicious. So I'm going to finish this, figure out how I'm going to get out of this car park and then take it to Leeds. Oh, okay. The car has been moved now. Let me show you where it was before, guys. Left so someone place, had parked their car the directly in front of this <laughs> anyway let's make our way up to leeds about three four hour drive we're going to try blue sakura that's the place i want to take you guys making a little tiny pit stop so you need to go to the uh the toilet do you not find it mad i always find this crazy how like i remember before like google maps all that kind of tom toms all that kind of stuff you know garments and whatnot my dad used to travel from the bottom of the country anywhere to the top right wherever it is he'll travel cross country 
and they would like stop the car on the hard shoulder to pull out a map and then actually look at a map like an atlas and then figure it out i do not think i have the skill set for that i'll keep it real i would get lost i would i get lost going from my kitchen to my bedroom i would get lost i don't know how they did it but like thank the lord for google maps is all i'm saying Honestly tempted, right, to go inside, get myself a little Costa, get myself a coffee. It's the worst coffee chain in the world, but it will do. But I'm going to save myself this place tonight. It's kind of got like a buffet system, but they give you like an iPad, then you order things off the iPad and they bring things out fresh, fresh made to you. So yeah, it's really good. I'm going to save myself for that. Let's get back on the road. I will never get that. Like, you know, like uh, service stations, they have like, they always have a little place to gamble. They always have like, a little gambling area with like slot machines and stuff. Who actually, honestly, gets on the motorway, stops and goes, do you know what? Fancy a little gamble, fancy a slot machine. That's just never made sense to me. I do not get that. I shouldn't gamble anyway, but like here of all places, I don't get that. Whose addiction is that strong? I don't do many Leeds reviews. I feel like I need to do more Leeds reviews found a place to park there's a car park like literally two doors down from blue sacra i'm a little bit earlier i got it like 40 minutes ago and i've still got to wait another 15 minutes so hopefully everyone's on time we'll go down and we'll show you why this i think is probably the best restaurant in leeds i'm gonna i'm just gonna say it best restaurant in leeds lucas turn up guys lucas on the man the myth the legend food, in, food in ninja food in ninja Who else? <laughs> guys so we're rolling up to it here it is Yes, this is the iPad. Got an interview going on here. Food and Ninja, Munchbox. Look at the interview going on. But we're gonna we're gonna get some food on here. We're gonna go to. I'll show you this in a bit. Actually, watch watch my main video. This is the vlog. In my full review, I go over that. I will tell you everything. I tell you everything. So watch that. But watch this first, obviously. Then YouTube's hard, guys. Yeah, YouTube's hard. Watch all my videos. Guys, MB's learning. He's, he's like, this is this is a good system, man. It will come out fresh because of what you order. We don't we don't like salad in here. Yeah, no. I love veg. Potatoes are veg. Fried veg. I love chips. So here's a few of the dishes, so I've ordered lots. Noodles, some pepper squid, egg fried rice, and that's the beef dish. Guys, the lamb chops. I asked for spicy. Cheese recording. Steak down there. This place is too good. A little bit of steak. MB do one of these ones. No, look, I'm just telling you, this steak is delicious. It's good because it's like theatrical, you know, it comes out, you share with your friends and your family. Having these like small plates is such a good experience chilling with people. The tempura here is lovely. This is all machine. Oh, I love this place so much. Watch my full review, man. <laughs> this is too nice. The second plate or second load of plates is coming. Right? This, this is telling me off here yeah, because. So I should have cleaned the table. I'm a messy guy and I can't help it. I'm a messy guy. I'm a messy guy. But she's doing it and doing a great job. I'm not doing it again. Just keep it raw. Keep it real. Keep it natural. That is how we roll. Well, I thank you for your service for Costa Nigiri. They got the fancy sushi, but then they got like the, the classic nigiri. A bit of salmon, rice, perfect. I'll be honest, don't know what that one is. Tattoo, mate. Well, some of this. I'll be honest, guys. There's so much good food. Look at that, man. There's so much good food going on. Oh, we've got some steak going on. Some shops which are spicy. We chose spicy. Three for all causes. Guys, seriously, some of the best shops you're ever gonna have anywhere. When you get these, make sure you ask for them spicy. On the iPad, is an option for spicy or non. Click spicy. Yeah, yeah, dip it into this. Yeah. Guys, Fizz is teaching Taz yes. how to eat this fried bread. She's teaching him how to TikTok, well, YouTube. That's condensed milk there. Come on, T. Let's see what you're saying. <laughs> you're looking at two cameras. <laughs> this is the biggest bend I've ever done in my life. I'm just gonna wait here. This is a yoga pose. How? <laughs> Thank you. And now, it's the strawberry. The strawberry better. Yeah. Last time I had it, you couldn't taste it. Try it. Let me Can know. you guys hear that? Fizz um, questioning my life choices. 
Or some of the strawberry ice cream. I got it like literally a couple of minutes ago. Do you know what? All I'm saying is you should chat and do do. Strawberry ice cream is the best. Can I get, let me know what you think. Okay, hold on. Let me get the right hand. It's inverted, guys. Please don't tell me off in it. Okay. Do not pretend it's the best ice cream. Do you know what? By dear good golly gosh. That's the best ice cream I've had in my whole life. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't, like that might be real strawberry frozen. Sure, I love it so much. I'm so glad I got strawberry. If you come to leave, you can leave to try it. If you come to leave, you can try it. Absolutely amazing. Here's the interesting. We had those earlier. No spoon? No spoon. You had it, there was four spoons, weren't there? They were just there. There was four in there. In the yeah. I'm not sure what happened, there was four spoons here. Yeah, we all got spoons. Spoon. I think they're about taking your... I think someone's uh, done a bit of a, a funny one, a bit of a funny one. With your spoon, mate. Your jump chuck. Your car shook. Taz is the designated check the the rest the receipt guy. There's a lot there. There's a lot to look at. But it's actually one price per head anyway. You know who the man when you're doing that? That for you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Almost on our way back, guys. Had such a long day driving. Nearly there. Honestly, knackered. I'm knackered, but I've gotten used to driving now. I drive more. I kind of enjoy it. Uh, let's get home and let's catch up with you there. Okay, we are home. I have covered some miles today. Literally, I've been all over the country. So I did hometown to Luton, Luton to Leeds, Leeds to Manchester. What a day. Super grateful to have the friends that I have. Had a really, really good time, really good food. And just, yeah, busy, but I loved it. I'm liking these vlogs as well, actually. I've done quite a few now. This is going into the vlog uh, playlist. I think I've done like five now. Uh, but I'm looking forward to some sort of regular reviews as well. If you want to see my vlog playlist, just click up there. Do check it out. Please drop the video a like. Please drop me a subscribe. That helps out a lot. But I'll see you all in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.